Hi, fifth graders. We are going to be drawing some rainforest animals this month. Now, animals are my favorite things to draw, and the rainforest is one of my favorite places because there's just so many to choose from. So, we're going to start today with the three-toed sloth. Now, a couple of you might remember doing the three-toed sloth for your Draw Half an Animal Face project at the beginning of the year. And if you did, I want you to tap into your memory and um, remember how you shaded him. Because I'm going to show you the drawing and I'm going to give you some suggestions for coloring and shading techniques and things like that. But ultimately, it's all up to you. So, since we're making animals, we're going to start with a lot of round shapes. Um, because they're very organic creatures. So for our sloth, I'm going to, before I even start with the sloth, I'm going to start with the branch. They like to hang off of branches. So I've got my branch, and it's going to come up from about this top uh, fourth of the paper and go diagonally up to the top. And let's do that twice in an almost parallel line. And now I've got a branch for my sloth to hang on. Now I'm going to make a big oval, and this is going to be pretty much the size of the sloth. This is where you need to remember to draw light until you get it right. I'm even going to write that on the board. Bam! Draw light until you get it right, because we will be erasing a lot of these lines. It's easy for me to erase because I'm on a whiteboard. You've got to take some actual effort with your pencil. So our oval is going to hang right below the um, branch. We want a little bit of space for his arms. Um, I think that's a good size. And again, that's going to be the whole body. So I'm actually going to alter my oval just a bit. I like that better. Okay, so now we're going to start breaking this up into our major shapes. We've got the body and we've got the head. The head is going to hang close to the top up here. And then the rest is going to be our body. Let me see if I'm liking that. Yeah, I am. So now we're going to go ahead and put in our feet. We're going to put in the feet before we put in anything else. And these circles will be erased. So again, draw light, light. Okay, so I'm going to have one here. I want uh, eventually four visible circles. So I know where the four places that the feet are going. Okay, so I've got the two in the middle close together and the two on the edges spaced out. You can copy that if you want, or you can make yours a little bit more unique. Keep in mind that some of these are going to be facing us, and some of them are going to be facing away. That's why these are so light. Okay, so we're going to start with the two that are facing us. So one, this one cannot be our friend that's facing us because it would block our sloth's face. See, what you're going to do is you're going to be drawing a line right from the edge of the circle down to about halfway on the sloth. And then we're going to do it on the other side too, but this is going to be a bit bigger. And I personally want these two to be the ones on this side. Um, so this is our arm, which means that this is our leg. You've got to think about where the, where the anatomy, um, how the anatomy works. Where are his bones? Where's his shoulders? Shoulders here. Where is his hips? His hips are down here. So I've got this leg, which needs to kind of stretch more like that, all the way down there. And then for this part, we're going to have it come out and curve, out and curve. So following along still? Good. Okay, so um, if you, maybe you have this leg as the one that's facing us, you can follow the same directions for that. But now I'm ready to put in the arms that are on the other side. So these ones are blocked, right? So I'm going to have this line that's going to stop when it hits my sloth's face. And another side is going to stop when it hits my sloth's body. And then this one is going to stop when it hits my sloth's body. And this one's going to curl down. And it won't really stop because it's going all the way around to the uh, sloth's rear end. Okay. Now let's start uh, making those these things look more like our toes. So, I'm going to pause and switch colors just for a moment to explain something. Now, don't copy this. This is just to listen and follow along. Um, since a sloth is curling around the surface, anytime you draw something curling around a surface, 
you want to think about your forms, your geometric forms like a cylinder. So our branch is essentially, this is not as dark as I thought it would be. Our branch is essentially a cylinder, okay? There's my math shape. And the when you have something wrapping around the cylinder, it's going to wrap using these same circle shapes. You know, if I'm drawing my cylinder, I would use these round shapes. I'm going to erase those and just put in the one. A round shape that comes around the cylinder, okay? And then if it were going over the cylinder, it would continue in a round shape. That circle shape would just keep going, okay? So that's kind of hard to see. Let me make it a bit uh, simpler. Round. Keeps going. So that's what we'll be doing as we draw our sloth's arms and three fingers, all of them. So starting with the ones that are on our side and pointing away from us, that's this one and this one, we're going to, I want to simplify and have both of the claws pointing, or the toes pointing in the same direction. I'm going to have them pointing away from the sloth's face. So I would have this line of the hand go up, and it's going to go around because it's going around a cylinder, but it's going to stop when it hits the branch. And same with the other side. It's going to come up and curl and stop when it hits the branch. Okay? Then I can go ahead and erase my circle because I don't actually need it at all. At all! And my arm's a bit too big. I'm going to go ahead and revise and make it um, smaller. Yeah, I like that better. And now for our other one, we're going to go up and over, and up and over. Okay, and then I'm going to erase that circle. Whoop, whoop. Okay, so now the ones that are facing us. So just like we were talking about with that cylinder, everything that goes around the cylinder needs to wrap. And that includes the parts that are facing us. So this is going to come, let's go ahead and start with erasing our circle so it, um, doesn't confuse you visually, but we're going to come up where the circle was and wrap. And they are very much shaped like claws. So I've got this angry claw looking thing that's on top and it wraps. Okay, now because they are three toed, we need to make sure that we have three visible toes. Oh heavens, this marker. So to do three visible toes, you're going to have two lines. One, two, makes three toes. Okay. And now we're going to go ahead and put in that cute sloth face. I'll go ahead and erase these lines because we don't need them anymore. In this line. And here in our face, oh, I'm going to extend the arm all the way to the armpit more. I like that. Oh, I like that much better. And now our sloth's face is going to start with kind of a, a hardish circle. It's not real, uh, uh, tomatoes more accurate, like this. And then we are going to have a little circle for our nose, an oval, rather. And the smile comes right under it. Good heavens. Oh, isn't that cute? And then our eyes are going to be little beady eyes that go all the way down the cheeks. So we've got little beady eyes. They need to be close to the nose. And they need to go all the way down the cheeks. Little eyes all the way down the cheeks with two tiny little beady eyes right in the middle. Okay. Now this is where you would start putting in your shading and your coloring and things like that. Sloths have a couple of things that are really fun and going to give you some really great ideas for shading and coloring. Number one, sloths move so slow that moss will grow on their body. So feel free to add some green on the back. Normally it grows on the back, maybe on the little bit of the arms. Oh, let's erase these tree branch lines. We don't need them anymore. Um, remember your shading techniques. Remember to use value. Push hard. This is a good opportunity to, if it was me, coloring on paper, I would color with pencil and then add green in colored pencil. So my sloth would be shades of gray with a hint of green, like splashing it in. 
So remember the nose and the eyes and the, the tears are going to be the darkest parts with the uh, sloth's face the lightest parts next to the claws. The three toes are the toes and the face are going to be light. The body's going to be this medium shade. So, um, and also remember, sloths have long fur, long fur. It does hang on their body. Um, you might think that because it's long, it should just all drop down, but they don't groom themselves well enough for that. So it's all this long fur. Keep that in mind as you are shading, use those big long strokes to get the sloth the way you want it. And it'll look soft and fuzzy and cute. Now, have fun, good luck, and I look forward to seeing your sloths.